Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of the How to Make a Junk Journal series. In this video, I want to talk about how to connect the front and back cover to the spine that we created in part one. So I've, cre I've went ahead and created a spine for each of the three books that I'm working on. And um, I only have two here because I've already put one on the other one. Uh, so I'm just going to run you through how to connect all three of these and then I'll do it to the rest of them. What I like to do is not the only way to do it. This is just the way that I feel most comfortable doing it. So I'm going to share that with you and if you have other ideas on how to bind a book, please leave it in the comments section below. That's always fun to read and interesting and I like to learn new ways of doing things. So what I do first is I will line up my book covers so I have my back book cover flipped over, my spine, which uh, it doesn't matter which side you, you put it on. This side is the craft tech side and this side is the chipboard side. I normally put the craft text in the middle. It really doesn't matter. You can do it either way. And so I'll line that up next to the back book cover. And then I'll put the front book cover over here. And I will leave a little bit of a gap in between them, just enough that when I close the book, it won't get stuck right here and not close all the way. I want it to close all the way to the point where they're touching each other. So the next thing I do is I will take some muslin. This is muslin and I've shown this to you before. It's one of my favorite fabrics and it's so simple and it's just cotton. But it is cool because I can do pretty much anything I want to this. This is really thin fabric, so it doesn't bulk up the spine too much when I put it on there. And I can cover it with paper, I can cover it with paint. So I like to use muslin on my spines. And it also adds a little bit of reinforcement to the spine if you didn't feel like you already had enough. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out my spine is two and a half inches, so I'm going to cut out just to about like right here with the muslin. And I'm just going to get one long strip that is about this wide. And it doesn't have to be exact. The only thing you want to consider is if you're planning on covering it with something else later, you may not want the muslin to show. If you do want the muslin to show, then go crazy with it, whatever. The other thing I really like about muslin is I can just rip it and it's so easy. It's so easy to rip. I just like snip a little piece right here and rip it down. Once I get a piece, and I know this is giant, but I just wanted to get something that was manageable so I could kind of measure where I want my muslin to go. We're just going to rip this part off here and it rips so well <laughs> and it comes out reasonably straight much better than if I try to cut it it just never works for me now I've got a piece of muslin cut down to the size I want it and all I'm going to do at this point is glue this on and then we will flip it over and do the inside So once you have everything glued on, what I would suggest doing is taking like a bone folder or a credit card or something flat and just running that across your fabric just to make sure that it is good and secure. I like to really get into the creases of the book so that I know it will fold up correctly. So if you will notice, there's more muslin on this side than there is on this side. And that's okay. It doesn't matter. Once you cover it up, it won't 
be noticeable and so this is not the part where you have to be perfect it's okay so once you feel like you've gotten that pretty flat we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the same thing on the other side now at this point you have to decide what it is that you want to do on your book so if you wanted to paint the book then flipping this up like this and gluing this down really isn't a big deal because you're going to paint it anyway. If you plan on covering it with a thicker fabric like um, my other book here, I plan on covering with leather. What's going to happen when you cover it is this area is going to show. So if you don't want that to show, then you may not want to put the fabric over it like this. I personally don't really think it matters. I think it looks better than, certainly with this book, it looks better than what's already there. And you'll see this brown if I don't cover it up. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to fold these up and cover them because my plan is to cover this with paper. So. I'm going to just cut this down just a little bit because it'll bug me otherwise. So I'm going to glue these up like this. Just keep that in mind when you're making yours, whether you really want that to show or not. Let me go ahead and glue these down. glued down up here and flattened out and gone over my creases. I'm going to want to cover the inside. The main idea is that you obviously want to cover up where your book and your spine meet. So you can cover it with more muslin, you can cover it with paper, you can cover it with anything. When I'm just going to cover it with muslin because I'm going to completely cover this entire book with paper so it won't matter what I do to this book. This is just to keep it secure because right now this book could bend backwards, it could bend forwards, it can bend all around and it's not very sturdy. So this is just going to give it that extra layer of sturdiness. So I'm going to cut the same length from there. We'll just glue it down. So just as a quick note, you're not going to want to wrap this around to the back like the other one. So with this one, we're actually just going to cut it down to the actual length of the book. So at this point, we have put muslin on the back uh, outside cover, and we've put muslin on the inside. It still closes to meet at the ends, so we are in good shape. I will go ahead and finish this procedure for the other two books that I am working on, and we will meet back for part three, where we will talk about covering the book and different options that you will have to do that and as well as covering the inside of the book and then part four we will uh, choose paper for the book and start building our signatures thanks so much for watching bye